Good morning ladies and gentlemen, I'm EZ69, welcome back to the channel. In today's video we're going to play a tank that is just never ever played uh, right now in the game. Like A lot of people probably won't even have ever seen the tank or um, didn't even know the tank exists because it's not a tank that comes for sale very often and it definitely isn't a tank that you see often in the battlefield. Now this tank has has been around for many many years of course it is the m6a2e1 exp the experimental the duck tank the goose tank whatever you want to call it and back in the day it was a very very solid tank um i haven't played the tank to try and get this footage yeah, it's not as strong as it used to be. Um, however, the armor profile is still decent, um, but that's more so when you come up against tier 7s. Of course, when you come up against tier, uh, tier 8s and tier 9, then people penetrate you very, very easily. And the other thing about the tank, it is absolutely massive. So if you try to hide behind little rocks or things like that, you're just going to sort of uh, sit above that rock, like on mines. That rock in the middle, um, yeah, you sort of tower above that. So people still will be able to shoot you. So you do have to bear that in mind. The one advantage of that is you are protecting your hull and your turret is not too bad, to be fair. Your hull's all right. The upper plate on your hull is actually not too bad. But as soon as people start switching, uh, switching to the Pramo, then, yeah, the armor becomes a lot weaker and everybody can pretty much penetrate you. So your turret armor on this is 199 and your hull armor is 199. Um, so exactly the same there. Your damage per minute, again, we are running calibrated shells, even though I think the penetration is not too bad, um, is 1,860 for your DPM, 12.9 seconds of reload, and your AP pen is 248, your APCR pen is 297, with 60 on your HG. You've got a 400 alpha gun, 340 with your APCR and 515 with your HE. Your aim time is, of course, not great at 4.8 and your gun dispersion 0.317, which I don't think is too bad. Uh, it could be worse. You do have 10 degrees of gun depression, so you want to try and use that to your maximum advantage. Get on a ridge, use the gun depression, and then your turret will be a little bit stronger. 29 top speed, which isn't too quick, and your average speed is also 29 um so you're getting there pretty quickly and a lot of people are doing that speed for a longer period of time um but overall you know uh, having played the tank to get the footage it's not a tank that i miss i, I do um i do admit that it's not a tank that i think oh do you know what i miss this tank uh, it doesn't feel like that at all um but overall you know it's there's better tanks out there but it's it's okay now it is it was a little bit difficult because when i was getting the footage i was just not coming up against tier sevens so i couldn't sort of uh, use it to its at maximum advantage i kept coming up against tier nines and the, the second replay like everyone was tier eight so i didn't come up against tier sevens so I couldn't really test the armor properly. Um, but yeah, it's definitely not a tank that I, I miss playing. And having after making, making this video, it's not going to be a tank that I, I, I rush back to very quickly. Now, again, there are a few good things about the tank. As I said, the height can be good, but it can also be quite bad. Um, the gun, I think, is pretty good. I don't think the gun is too bad. And if you put the tank in the right positioning, uh, the armor isn't too bad either. Um, uh, but of course you're not going to see it these games um, because again I don't come up against those tier 7s and it is very very frustrating just like that bounce was there on that freaking uh, object 752 yeah he would have been dead but yeah I decided to bounce his freaking side so at the moment we do manage to clear that guy I do want to try and get the uh, rid of these guys but yeah there's just too many people too many tanks too many guns looking at me so at the minute I just want to sort of back up as soon as that waffle over there is gone it only leaves the three tanks that are in front of me so the longer i can keep these tanks here 
uh, the better it will be for my team. And of course, we are uh, winning on supremacy points as well. So I do want to stay al alive as long as possible uh, because now it is just these three tanks here. If I can at least bring the T-49 down a little bit more or kill this Skoda T-56, then we should really uh, have this game in the bag. So I do take a shot. But I do manage to kill um, the Skoda there. So, uh, unfortunately, I don't quite have enough time uh, to back away from the ISU. He was just way too quick for me. And there's just nothing I can do about it. But at least I held him there. Me and the Tortoise, to be fair. Yeah, I didn't do much damage. But the Tortoise, I think, you know, us two held that bit uh, together very, very easily. And uh, we managed to get the job done. So, moving forward to the next game. Again, this game is uh, just tier eights. Now, again, but it is an American tank, so where it comes to armor profile, frontally, yeah, it can be good. If, if as long as you're sort of angled, as long as you are um, hiding your weak points, then yeah, it can be very good. If you come out sidewards, just like I did here with the Tiger II, I wasn't intending to, I was actually intending to sort of go where I am now, but as soon as I see the guy, I thought I'd try to shoot him, didn't pay off, and uh, I did get wrecked doing so. So the side on people can HE you. Uh, the side armor is very, very weak. The same as the rear. Uh, again, tanks will HE you. So if you come up against a big uh, tank destroyer or something like a T4, uh, T49 or a tank with HE, then they will be able to penetrate you very, very easily. So now I've got the STRV in front of me, the Tiger and the Panther or the J Panther behind. Of course, I just want to get the hell out of there. Now, I'm not looking at running away um, permanently. I want to stay here. Now, this shot here against the J Panther, I actually missed the fire button. So I could have brought, brought him down to a one shot, but <laughs> stupidly, I missed the fire button and I wasn't able to get the shot off. Now, this STRV, you can see I'm trying to wiggle. I'm trying to just try and uh, to get a bounce. But yeah, that, he's not having any of it. And I'm just being penetrated by absolutely everyone at this point. Now, he is going to get one more shot into me. Uh, that is before I manage to uh, to get rid of him and send him back to the garage. And with a, now a seven versus three, I can just push on, at least try to get one final shot on this Tiger 2. So let me know in the comments, do you own the tank? Do you even know what the tank is? I'd love to see if there's anybody out there that don't actually know what this tank is. Now again, this tank has been around for a very long time and it come into the game with a tier seven, which is pretty much the same, but it's not the EXP. Uh, it's just a sort of smaller, uh, kind of version of the tank in tier 7. So let me know if you have the tank or let me know if you've just never seen the tank. But it's a not, not very popular now. Doesn't come for sale often. Um, so yeah, that's probably pretty much why you uh, never really see it. So let me know in the comments below your opinions on the tank and as I've just explained, if you own one or if you've never seen it. But for now, I hope you enjoyed today's video. I'm Meadsy69 and I'll catch you all soon. Bye-bye.